All right, Sahith, in the context of everything on the line today, take us through your 18 holes. Yeah, um, I was really nervous this morning. I was I had my best friend Roy with me this week, and it was cool kind of having him by my side. Um, but I was nervous. I, I had a little bit of shakes warming up. Um, I couldn't hold my hand still. I, I felt great mindset-wise, but just body-wise, I knew something big was on the line. And um, once I got a few shots, I buried the first hole, which really settled the nerves. But um, what, that was a wild ride. I hit one fairway. I kept hitting it a foot in the rough. And then just like from there, this course is too firm. You can't even go up pins. And felt like I was hitting it to 60 feet and two putting all day. It was such a grind the last couple of days. Um, I think I'm dead last in the field and strokes getting off the tee by like five. I mean, it's, it's going to be funny looking at the stat, but um, that was such a grind, and um, I really left everything out there on the last six or seven holes, whether I get in or not. Um, just happy how I handled myself, for sure. You've had some close calls this year, yeah. a bit of heartbreak, a lot of elation, yeah. lots of new experiences. With all of that, how much would it mean to you to make it to the Tour Championship? Oh, it would mean everything. I think the validation of the season and and – it's another step for me to to feel like I really belong because I still don't feel like I'm really there at the top of the game and um, slowly building confidence every week whether it's a good or bad week I feel like I've made a lot of progress and um, yeah it would mean the world to make the tour championship and stand along 29 of of the other best golfers in the world why do you think you don't quite belong yet yeah I don't know I was just even yesterday I was walking up 18 hit my five wood in the right rough which is so standard there and I was just I was just I turned to Carl I was like it's incredible how much better I can get and how bad some part I, I totally agree that some parts of my game have been incredible this year um but I just like playing with some of these guys I mean they're so good and and seeing different facets of their game that are that I feel like I can improve so much more in every area of the game even the areas that I thought I was the strongest in I played with Denny McCarthy yesterday and the guy's got the best short game on I mean one of the best short games I've ever seen so it, playing with guys like that um I, I'm slowly building that confidence but uh we'll see when I when I finally fully am there if this is it for you with a season yeah. how would you how would you sum it up yeah it was a dream season I mean I like I said the fact that I'm even on the PGA Tour is pretty absurd um I, I had Roy to remind me that a lot this week, um, how cool PJ Tour lifestyle is and how many people you can affect positively and all, and all that stuff. Just, you know, what me and my family have worked so hard for and and just the fact that I had a full season. And my only expectation was really to keep my card. And obviously I've blown that out of the water. And, uh, yeah, no matter what happens, whether I get in or not, um, it's been a dream season. And um, I just can't wait to keep going on the journey. You mentioned having nerves this morning you had a couple yeah. of chances to win golf tournaments this year yeah was this a little strange for you did it feel yeah, differently it knowing did. that you probably can't win but you still have so much at stake it did i was joking like i'm literally i think i was in 30th to start the day i was like i'm in 30th place out of 70 people and i'm nervous as this one you know near the lead um it was definitely different and it definitely felt like a tournament within a tournament i mean that putt on the last hole it just felt so big um it nearly felt like some of the some of the putts I made coming down the stretch when I was near the lead there. Um, but yeah, very similar feeling. Um, it feels a little better to get some closure today. Whether or not I, I advance, I felt like I fully closed it. Um, didn't leave any shots out there the last seven or eight holes, whereas the other times I felt like I, obviously I have. So um, yeah, just having that closure is, is cool. Do you find that type of nervousness fun as a competitor? Yeah. Or? Oh. It's what, it, it's what it's all about. I mean, the fact that you're even in that position to feel nerves is a good thing, you know? And I think that's something I tell a lot of guys is like, hey, if you're nervous, that's such a good feeling. Like, imagine not being nervous. Then what are you doing kind of thing? Um, obviously, there's a fine line between, you know, serious nervousness and anxiety and, you know, comfortability. And finding that line is tough. But, yeah, it just, you know, pressure is a privilege. And um, I sure felt that way today. Uh, can you tell us about the, the last three holes? And 16, you're in trouble there. 18, yeah. you're in trouble there. And then yeah. 17, you make a ridiculous putt. Um, yeah. What were you feeling those last three holes? Yeah, I was just, I was so frustrated this week. Um, I definitely 
you know, let go of some clubs in my swing, and I'm not too happy about that. But 16, it just it was my bread and butter, kind of the low stinger fade that I hit with the three iron all year, all year, and just squirted right on me near the tree, like 160 yards off the tee. And I was just so frustrated there. I was like, come on, this is the one chance. I still haven't hit a fairway to that point. Um, so I had like, I, I caught a great line in the rough. I had like 220 or 210 or 220 to the hole. I was just trying to blast it over the green and blast it over the green. Had a tough lie, but knew it was an easy chip. Um, so chipped it in there three feet, which was great. And then I finally hit a fairway on 17. Best tee shot I've hit in a long time. I think I had like 70 yards in and hit a horrible pitch there. I was like, oh, great. I hit a fairway and now I, I whiffed the wedge. But I just had a good feeling over that putt. I haven't really made any long putts this week, and um, it had a nice look to it, and I didn't have to hit it too hard because it was a touch downhill, and it was just tracking the whole way, and um, I gave a pretty big fist pump, which I've been holding in for, seems like, over a month now. I can't remember the last time I fist pumped, so that, that was cool, and then 18, I don't know why I tried to hit a draw. My natural shot's a cut. I tried to draw the five wood, and it started 20 yards right on my target and then cut, so I hit it 50 right. Honestly, a great break that I was in the trample down area just so I could slice it up near the green. I would have been happy with hitting it long left of the green or 50 yards left, but it came out really nice. and It was like a low slice and honestly probably a good break that it stayed where it did. Um, I thought it could have been on the green, but um, after that it, it felt fitting that I felt very comfortable that I'd get it up and down. I didn't know how I would, um, but the fact that it was you know left to the strongest part or what I feel is the strongest part of my game was was fitting so I hit a decent chip I was nervous on that for sure but left myself an easy putt and uh it was really satisfying to hit my line on that one and then on 18 I noticed um afterwards you know you looking into the crowd were you looking at for your dad or your friends and family or just the fans yeah yeah just soaking up the moment yeah I was just kind of soaking up the moment took a glance I knew exactly where my my dad and cousin and Roy were and uh rest of the friends that came out to support me but um yeah just kind of taking it in and it just felt like I was, <laughs> I had no no breathing room at all that back nine. I was just getting, squeezing every shot I could out of that. So finally kind of relaxed after that putt went in. Thank you. Where are you for the next two hours? Sit inside and watch, just chat, try and keep it chill. Have a Diet Coke. <laughs> Get some caffeine. Yeah. Thanks, man. Great Thanks, guys. Thank